Coca-Cola chairman and CEO James Quincy joins us now for a CNBC exclusive. Welcome back, James. Good to have you. Good to hear from you again. So talk to us a little bit about what's working there, because the organic revenue growth of 12 percent in the quarter and then your outlook for four to five percent seem to be better than Wall Street was expecting. And you do have that mix of price and volume growth. So what's happening? Yeah, look, I think this is the accumulation of what we've been doing over the last number of years, really committing and reinvesting in our business, the marketing, the innovation, uh, the execution with our bottling partners and building momentum through our business. So actually the fourth quarter, much like the whole year of 2023 and actually really the last five years, we've been driving really on a like to like basis at the top end of our growth algorithm. Uh, and that, barring the little bit of hyperinflationary countries, is what we're looking at in 24, uh, continued momentum and continued success. Market particularly encouraged by the volume growth that you saw this quarter up 2 percent, because we did not see that across packaged foods or beverage companies. How did, how did you achieve that? And are you confident that that can continue throughout the year? Yeah, look, the 2% the volume growth we got in the fourth quarter, actually it was 2% for the whole year 2023, actually 2% compound keg of the last five years. We, we very clearly have part of our strategy of focusing on keeping people in our consumer franchise, uh, growing the number of weekly plus consumers uh, in our business, uh, notwithstanding whether inflation goes up or down. We have a very much a focus on that. And the way we achieve it is not just the marketing innovation, but really thoughtful ways of making mm -hmm. sure consumers who are under uh, purchasing power pressure have options that are much more affordable, whether it's on price points or, or the value of the pack, so that we can keep them in the franchise. And we believe that pays off in the long run. Yeah, overall on pricing, I think you told me this morning that we're, aside from some hyperinflationary countries like Argentina, back to normal pricing in beverages. So what exactly does that look like and what does it mean? And does it mean inflation is not a big problem anymore? We just got a hot CPI report. Yeah, if you, if you take the fourth quarter, we, we, we reported a 9% price mix, but a couple of points were some intra-quarter effects within the year. So really it was kind of a like for like seven of which half of that was hyperinflationary countries, uh, but the other three and a half came from the 95% of the business. Uh, so when you think about the 95% of the business, three and a half on a global basis is pretty close to what we were getting uh, prior to COVID, prior to this inflation spike, a little bit uh, less uh, in the developed markets, a little bit more in some of the emerging markets, but really getting into the ballpark of landing, not too dissimilar to the CPI, which has come from elevated levels. Uh, yeah, it might be slightly harder to get, to get from three to two, but it's getting close uh, to the kind of normalized levels. And that's what we see in 2024, a kind of a normalized level in the 95 percent of the business uh, with the overlay of some hyperinflation. But normalized on a much higher rate, right, than where we were pre-COVID when it comes to, to pricing. I mean, how much more are we paying for cans than we were a few years ago? Yeah, the costs have gone through. I mean, if one looks at inflation over time, uh, that we very rarely get into periods of sustained uh, deflation. That's not just a consumer effect. That's also a supply chain effect. Actually, part of the reason that central banks set a 2% inflation target rather than zero is so that they don't have lots of uh, categories or areas of the economy falling into deflation. It tends mm -hmm. to produce a lot of negative consequences. So once, once inflation comes through, it tends to stay at those new elevated levels. Also, also true of wages, it was, it's been good to see uh, that also came along with the inflation report that wages have been outpacing inflation uh, for a number of uh, months now. So I think consumers are going to start uh, to feel that there's a little more uh, money coming in than going out relative, mm. relative to pricing. Uh, and that we think is going to start to see. We may start a little, uh, a little slower at the beginning of the year, but we think that momentum will slowly build through mm. the year, uh, which, is, which is encouraging as we think about 2024.